Today on Globe News, SLCC students try to find a feasible way to save gas. Also, find out about the new Salt Lake Bruins sports app. Stay tuned, Globe News starts now. Welcome to Globe News, I'm Nathan Olmedo. While gas prices have dropped from record highs this past summer, students at SLCC still continue to fill up the tank at a cost above the national average. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics states gas prices have gone up 25% from last year's Utah average price. Data recorded from AAA also states the highest recorded average price in Utah for a gallon of regular unleaded gas is $5.26. As gas prices are still high, students find solutions to save money. As part of being enrolled at the college, students have the opportunity to use a One Card to save money on transportation. The One Card offers free public transportation on UTA, such as buses and the track's light rail. SLCC Athletics are now just a touch away with the new Salt Lake Bruins app. This past summer, SLCC's athletic department rolled out an app that keeps students up to date on all things Bruin athletics, called Salt Lake Bruins. The app keeps users up to date on scores and stats surrounding all games and allows them to look up their favorite SLCC teams with in-depth player and coach profiles. The app also allows users to purchase tickets and watch games on the Scenic West network. The Salt Lake Bruins app is available for download on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store for free. Let's take a look at the SLCC calendar to see what's happening on campus. SLCC will hold a workshop about career exploration. This will be presented by Jenny Abbott, Assistant Vice President in Training and Education on Friday, November 18th from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. In this virtual workshop, you will learn how to pursue a high-demand career that matches your skills, interests, and salary expectations. If you are a big fan of soccer, World Cup Qatar 2022 is here at SLCC. Two matches will be shown live in the Student Event Center at the Taylorsville Redwood Campus on Monday, November 29th, with Iran facing off against the U.S. and November 30th with Saudi Arabia versus Mexico. Prizes will be given to students for predicting the four semifinalists. SLCC's South City Campus is home to the Tim and Brenda Huval Child Care Center. The center provides student parents with high quality comprehensive child care for kids aged six weeks to 12 years old. To get to go to college and not have to worry about child care is an enormous um, alleviation of responsibilities for them. They can bring their kids to do homework, bring their kids if they need to do uh, study for finals. So it's really a huge program and a huge benefit we have right now. SLCC offers childcare at the South City Jordan and Taylorsville Redwood campuses. The Tim and Brenda Huval Child Care Center is open from 6.45 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursdays and 6.45 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. on Fridays. The center offers campus grant money and voucher assistance to eligible students to provide heavily discounted rates for childcare, and most eligible students pay nothing. For more information, go to slcc.edu slash childcare. That's it for this episode of Globe News. To watch this episode and past episodes of Globe News, go to youtube.com slash slcc smc or find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at slcc smc. I'm Nathan Olmedo. Thanks for watching Globe News.